Welcome to our REBA webinar on mapping out a corporate wellbeing journey using risk profiles, stress tests and management information. Relatively few employers have all the answers yet when it comes to journeys and risk profiles and, and data and MI, but many are working towards a more strategic wellbeing roadmap. This is where I think in our journey for wellbeing, we've all got to be very realistic um, with ourselves and, and, and with um, you know, our HR leaders and our business leaders to say, we need to invest time and money to get the best out of this. And what I mean by that is, take the data. It's not just for us to try to interpret with our providers, but we've got to go out into the business to find out what managers are really seeing and understanding as well, because this is not just about what we think, it's about what the business thinks it needs as well. And they know our, their employees better than, than we do. In order to be uh, to build and reinforce that trust is in the actions that you take in, a, in, in every interaction that you have with the individual, um, uh, whichever party they are um, uh, uh, interacting with, whether that be occupational health, your providers, yourselves internally, your mental health first aiders, time to change champions, whatever it may be that you have, whatever model you have, is um, is that the way in which all of those parties deal with the individuals all gives you that opportunity to reinforce the safe environment to, to, to share and be honest. It does sit in various bases. Um, diversity and inclusion is, is often owning a well-being, which does make a lot of sense. I think that um, uh, benefits, obviously, uh, as well. And I think that that's so there, there's some connections I think that need to be made within companies to build collaboration to really make well-being work. I really do endorse the whole idea we, we need senior stakeholder ownership um, and it absolutely you know it's, it's in some ways it's better if it's not the HRD you know, whether it's the sales and marketing CEO certainly every time that we've seen a, a board stakeholder really step forward and own it it's been transformational uh, in the way that the business has engaged with well-being. Uh, I think there is a role here also for providers. So I think the more that we can connect um, the dots and sort of aggregate things from our side, probably the easier we can make it. Um, so I definitely, it's a team sport um, and uh, we've, we've got to make that, uh, that work.